Right on time. Always love to hear that call out. Minus 30 T seconds of counting. Seconds. All systems are go for launch of Falcon 9 with the Intuitive Machines Lunar Payload. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mission, and lift off. Go Falcon, go to mission. Two bolts pitching down range. And when you pull this number. Falcon 9. Now we're going to have a few events coming up in quick succession. We're going to start with Miko, main engine cutoff. That's the point during the flight where we shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Then we'll go into stage separation and then SES 1, which is the second stage engine start number one. And shortly after Miko, stage one and two will separate from each other with the first stage booster beginning its trip back down to Earth while the second stage engine starts for the first time, known as SES-1, which where the single Merlin vacuum engine on board the second stage will light up. This is happening in just a few seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Ignition. Call outs of three good events. You heard it and you should have seen it there on the webcast. Miko stakes up in SES 1. Now, the first stage is not powered, it's shut down. Great views coming from the second stage cameras as we have just uh, had sunset a little while ago at Kennedy Space Center. The first stage is now coasting to Apogee. That's the view on the left side. We're slowly turning using cold gas thrusters. We're turning to orient the engines into the direction of flight. Also, you may have been able to make out in a little bit of the light, the titanium grid fin deployment is underway. We're using pneumatic separation gas pressure. Confirmed. And here comes current separation. And a beautiful view. Looking at... Athena and the right chairs on top of the second stage stack. So we had good turn Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Trajectory is nominal. First stage is looking good as it comes to Apogee. Second stage under power. You may everything continue to look good right now on the mission. Yeah, we are at just over T plus four minutes into today's mission. IM2 is SpaceX's 24th launch this year, and we are currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns. 
around the T plus six minute mark, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. It's currently making its way back down to Earth. And for that entry burn, we will relight three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center engine, followed shortly by the engines next to it, which will slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we need to slow down the first stage to reduce re-entry forces, which will help us recover and reuse that first stage. And you can follow along on your screen to the telemetry on the bottom left and right of your screen for the stage one and stage two speeds and altitudes. Now you may have, may have noticed on the left side of your screen, first stage altitude has begun dropping. We have reached apogee and now we are under the pull of gravity headed back down to the Atlantic Ocean. Now to slow us down, we'll use that entry burn. And that means we're firing three Merlin engines to decelerate the Falcon 9, but we'll still be moving very rapidly. And that's gonna cause the vehicle to fly through the Merlin exhaust gases. It's also known as the rocket's plume. And this will deposit a layer of soot on the vehicle surface, one of the signatures of a flown booster. Now that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. Now it took us almost two minutes since separation to get up to Apogee. It's going to take the rocket just as long to bring the first stage back down to the edge of the atmosphere for the entry burn coming up in just about uh, 20 seconds or so. Now as a reminder, the first stage that's supporting today's mission is performing its entry burn for the ninth time. Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital reusable rocket. This is important because it's that reusability that allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, and that in turn drives down the cost of space access. Stage 1 entry burn startup. Stage 1 FTS is saved. There's that call out for entry burn startup, and this will be about a 30 second burn, slowing that first stage down as it re enters the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shut down. There you can see the end of that entry burn on the first stage. And on your right, you can see the second stage is still in it, the first of two planned burns carrying the Intuitive Machines 2 payload to, to the moon. Now coming up next, we will shut down our MVAC engine on the second stage, followed quickly by the landing burn on our first stage. Second engine cutoff of this first burn will be in just about 30 seconds at the T plus 7 minutes and 46 second mark. Stage 2 is in terminal guidance. You can see on your bottom right the, the speed of the second stage accelerating as we are in that burn. Stage 1 transonic. Stage two STS is saved. And back shut down. There's that call out for MVAC shutdown, and we should be getting a confirmation of a good orbit as stage well as one landing burn. There is that stage one I'll landing park burn. In orbit. And that confirmation of a good orbit on stage two. Let's watch stage one 